Hello, it's Ben and I'm happy and I'm back with Lana Del Rey, her album Born to Die, the debut album, it came out in 2012. I think I've only heard three songs of it, I think the main ones, Born to Die, Blue Jeans, Video Games, oh and Summertime Sadness. The rest, I don't think I would have, or if I have, I don't know, we'll know once I get through the reaction. I think this is the second last Lana that I have, after this it's just Paradise, which is the eight song EP that kind of then got meshed in with this one, however I'm going to listen to this as its own little thing because it came out before they kind of mixed it all up. It's rainy, it's overcast, I'm super keen to get into my feels, I'm super keen to really get into this album of Lana's, you've all been dying for it, here it is, you don't need to stress anymore. Let's get straight into it, it opens with Born to Die, it has a star, I'm pretty sure I've heard this one, We Shall Know, mm -mm -mm. let's go. Oh yeah, what an opening to her era. Oh, I'm already in chills. <laughs> I gotta really listen now. That was really interesting. I don't know if I want to be controversial this soon into the album, but I think this is the best. <laughs> that was just so fresh, not fresh, so full sounding. The, the strings were absolutely stunning. That's got to be some of the best in her music. And I, even though I've heard the song, I really haven't paid, I guess, attention to it and really sat down and listened, listen. Lyrics are there, the production's stunning. I love that ding, 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 la, la. that was sick. Wrote it with Justin Parker. Wow, what an open like what an opening song to a debut album that is stunning. So good. The next song is called Off to the Races. Let's go. My old man is a bad man, but I can't deny that he grabs me. He has me by my heart. Uh, it's the Las Vegas past. She doesn't mind having swimming pool. Oh, this sounds like witchy. <laughs> Such a weird song, it kind of felt like there were so many different parts, like there was like she was rapping, she was being a witchy, then she was being sultry, scandalousy. Yeah, that was a really interesting song. I don't know what the hell it's about. She says Scarlet a lot, Harlot. She's like her old man, but is this like that whole daddy thing that she has going on? What the hell? <laughs> the next song is called Blue Jeans. This one and the video games are actually in brackets remastered on this album, so that's 
interesting that I even bothered to do that. Blue jeans, yeah, I've heard this song, I've heard the remix. Let's go. This is iconic, right? Just that. Oh, it's got that, yeah. Yeah, the dude again. It's only three and a half minutes song. It feels so much longer in terms of just what's jam-packed into it. Definitely, there are bits in there that I don't even, I don't even remember. I think that's the hard thing with remixes. You actually totally forget what the song's like. And this album, I never really got into in those songs. Like, I know them, but I didn't really, I don't know. Loved it. So good. Such an, I think it was a single, maybe the, was it a lead single? I don't know. Awesome. So good. Again, so many of our amazing elements put into some really great cohesion. So strong. The next song's Video Games Remastered 2. Weird. I don't know why they put that in the title. This is that ding ding, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> why am I bothering? Let's go. Okay, it's not the song I thought. Oh yeah, that. Ding ding. This song is so good too. I don't know why I didn't listen to this album. Oh, that's so cute. Open up, watch me get undressed. Take the body down with you. Definitely, it's like I'm hearing for the first time in terms of really paying attention to everything that's going on. Such an amazing song. What a love song to write to someone. Stunning, beautiful, yeah. Oh my god. All right, I'm keen for the next few songs up until Summertime Sadness. So keen to hear some new stuff. The next song is called Diet Mountain Dew, which, what the hell? Let's go. <laughs> She was saying like diamond something, but she's actually saying diet mountain dew, so pretty interesting. Like diamond, diamond it sounds like. song I really love the verses and the sounding halfway through I was like oh yeah it's I like the album I was gonna say that I don't know I definitely think I prefer some of the other albums and I know I just came off the back of blue jeans and video games maybe it's just that song it just kind of I don't know, didn't give it wasn't uh, I don't know I liked it <laughs> I'm trying to choose my words very carefully here. I did like it, I really like the verses. It just, 
I don't know, there's just a bit of disconnect in maybe the, like the chorus. I don't know, I just didn't like the chorus as much as the verses. Probably that's all I need to say on the track. Number six is here already. It's super, super quick. I can't believe what, I feel this is like a shortest album. Number six, favorite number. Is it going to give us the best song on the album? I don't know. I mean, you've got the three lead singles. It's called National Anthem. Is this going to be about America? Is she just going to sing America's National Anthem? Who the hell knows? Let's go. Oh, she's coming in with the strings though. Oh, this sounds good already. Oh my god, they fly Oh, this is sick. Oh, this wins. <laughs> oh, okay. Money is the anthem of success. So before we go out, what's your address? I'm your national. What? Oh my god. I'm getting goosebumps. Justin Parker, he is hitting some big songs on this. Best song on the album, and I don't know, well no, I'm gonna, it's the best song for sure, that is stunning, the referencing, the lyrics, just all about America. The national anthem chorus coming in was so good. However, I mean like Born to Die, Blue Jean, and video games I have heard, so maybe they would have had a similar impact upon original listening. I'm not sure, but national anthem is where it's at. That is the best song for me. Oh my God, number six, bring it in. Just everything, the string, the subtlety of the strings, the I just said the lyrics, the referencing, but it's just so cleverly written. Almost like she's like rapping a little bit and it's like boof, with the chorus. Perfection, perfection, perfection. One of our best songs in an entire discography. Come at me. That's a fact. The next song is called Dark Paradise. Let's go. These strings are fucking insane. I can't handle it anymore. Oof. This sounds so pretty. No wonder he's coming in hard with that production. Oh my god. So just as I'm like, yeah, it's all right with Diet. National Anthem, Dark Paradise, absolutely slayed. I actually think only Dark Doubt, oh, Diet Mountain Dew was kind of like the bit of a miss for me, but the verses were so strong. Other than that, it is back-to-back -back bangers. This is such a strong album. Jesus Christ. The next song has an explicit. It's called Radio. Let's go. What a crackling. She's going to slow it down for us at least. like one to die.
with Justin. He's done a lot of the songs. I love that How Do You Like Me Now. It just sung so well. Oh, I love it when she swears. It just sounds so nice. She just makes anything sound good. Loved it how cute it was. Like, finally I found you. Stunning. Playing on the radio so she's made it. Oh, that was a really cute little song. Love that. That was so nice. The next song is called Carmen. Let's go. Who's Carmen? Who's she at? Oh, it sounds olden day vibes. Her voice is like an instrument. Oh my gosh, you said that already. Oh. oh my god, now it's Darla to Carmen. What that was stunning. I loved how it went from Darlin to Carmen, how she referenced uh, Coney Island Queen again. What the hell is that? That top liquor shelf bit, just the descriptiveness of it is so good. Her voice in that song was so strong, deep, dark, sensual. Whoa, yeah, wow. Almost kind of like a, I don't know. And I like the referencing of fame. There's some fame in there. So good. Definitely sounded such an olden day type of song. I love that. The next song is called Million Dollar Man. Let's go. <laughs> What are these noises? Seriously. Exotic Definitely sounds like it could be the end of the album, just like one for the money, two for the show. Just how it ended, definitely like a finale song. Really interesting to listen to. I'd love to know what that's about. Yeah, that was just like an interesting song. I love those weird noises in it as well, so good. We're at Sometime Sadness, the remix is iconic. It's got a star, let's jam to it, let's go. Is this like just everyone's summertime mood? Stunning. It's got those noises as well. I didn't I'm just gonna be vibing to this so good. It's got those like. Wow. Red dress, she's referenced that. Oh, this is so cohesive. Nick Knowles did that with her, so no wonder it's amazing. Just, I know I've heard it, I mean, I've heard the remix so much more, so that was, again, so nice to hear it. You definitely lose, like, the violins and all that stuff in terms of the remix. The, the lyrical cohesion on the album is so strong. She's referenced a few things in so many different songs, and hearing that within the album, it sounds so much better. Love that. What a cohesive piece of work. We're at the last song. It's called This Is What Makes Us Girls. Let's wrap this album up, and then let's chat. Let's go. Oh, a nice like intro coming off Summertime Sadness. Taking out, looking for a taste of real life. Drinking in this Paps Blue ribbon on ice. Six coming on. She said we never make it out. Yeah, she was a little best friend. I was in a These nice lyrics, the story. Oh. This is good. 
Christian crowd that you had ever seen. Oh. And I love it when you talk. Oh. You were the only friend I ever had. He couldn't run because my mom never come back. Oh my god. Wow. This cannot be the end. Definitely her shortest album, right? And I think as well, it's the most easiest album to listen to in terms of, I don't know, it just went so quick. The songs are stunning. That one especially, the storytelling in that was so good. The visuals you got from it. I love the messages that girls put love first. It's like they need to put themselves first. It's their curse. Oh, and they don't stick up for each other because they're focusing on love. So good. Oh my God, such a nice social commentary on, you know, that side of things. Whoa, such, like I said, it just went so quick and I definitely can put that down to it's just just so easy to listen to, definitely the easiest in terms of her discography. National Anthem, Dark Paradise, Summertime Sadness, This Is What Makes Girls, Born To Die, Blue Jeans, Video Games at 7, how many songs are there? 12. Such a solid album, such an amazing debut album. Oh my god, one of her best. I don't know if I could ever rank them, please do not ask me to do a ranking video because I will die. I'm not going to compare this to the others, but such a, such a grounding moment for her and it's probably her most solid work in terms of just from start to finish. Finish, I think. What did you guys think? Let me know down below. Give me all the information on the songs, on what they're about. Is it your favorite album? What does it compare to? Does it compare? Are we gonna compare? Why not? YOLO, do it down below. Hit subscribe, hit like. I'm on Instagram at Grippin. I'm on Patreon, Ben Shouts. You know what to do. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I'm gonna have a great day wherever I am. Benny's gonna go.